Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Second to Zetsu 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last episode, we got to see Ceres' first part of the story. Elliot got tricked by two magicians that probably aren't magicians at all. And now Rolante is Rolante's about to fall. And as you can see, everybody's asleep. Pull yourself together! Miss Ceres, I have no excuse. The wind stopped, and the enemy released sleep pollen. I am so ashamed. Hurry to the king! Okay. Oh, now we gotta have ourselves a battle! You can see these ninjas popping up from behind the pillars to try to attack you from out of nowhere. You can choose to fight them, or just go right past them. That's entirely your choice. It actually shows you their levels as well, in case you're wanting the stats at the end of your fighting. But I gotta go see the king now! If you see those little shadows with eyes, chances are you're going to see a ninja. It's pretty obvious. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Uh, which way to the king? I guess both doors can take me there. Yep. That was right. Father! Oh, sad music. You know what that means. Ugh. Ceres, is that you? Father, hang in there! I'm sorry, Ceres. The wind told me about this day, but I never believed it. Aha, so it was your fault! It must be the changes in the mana. Father! Elliot is gone! It's all my fault! Ellipsis, he's not anywhere in the castle. His spirit is far, taken by the enemy, perhaps. Ceres, take care of Elliot. Father! And he's dead. Father! Man, lost her mother, lost her father. Lant is practically taken down by these ninjas. I don't think any of these soldiers have been killed, just put to sleep. So obviously things did not go well. Wait a minute, who's this woman? <laughs> burn! Burn! She must have been the one that instigated this attack. The inhabitants are fleeing! We should return to Navarre and report our victory. We'll come back with fresh troops to note tomorrow. For now, retreat! The wind! The wind has returned! But your family hasn't. But, Elliot, what should I do? Father told me about the holy city of Wendell, the priest of light. Maybe he can help me. Well, guess that's our next destination. Mother! And now, Father. I promise I will find Elliot. Mother, please protect me. my hair back in place. We're good. Ellipsis. Ugh! And she's crying again. Ceres, after a staggering loss to the Navarre army, searches for her brother Elliot. I think it's the Navarre army? Doesn't matter. Little did she know, the fate of the entire world was about to be placed in her hands. Nice boat, by the way. Oh yeah, we're playing Staking to Zetsu 3, in case you were wondering. Just in case you never heard me when I mentioned it in part 2. But yeah, based on the character you are, you're going to Wendell either way. Just coming from a different area. 
So therefore, if you're playing as pretty much any character, chances are you'll be going through like the same spots. But you might end up in different places at the end, depending on who you are. But that's what makes this game very fun. Like, not every run is going to be the same. Unless you played the same characters and did the exact same things, then, well, it is going to be the same. But if you mix it up, then you might have a completely different experience. It's just a shame we never got this in North America, because from what I've seen, and what little bits I've played, it's a lot of fun. And the music's just amazing. Oh, we made it to Jad. Hmm, something's wrong. The city seems different than usual. Keep an eye out. Okay. So what makes it different anyway? Oh, these guys. We, the warriors of the Beast Kingdom, now control this city. Do not interfere, and we will do you no harm. The Beastmen have taken over the port. I'm afraid we're stuck here for now. That's very unfortunate. I did not mean to do that. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's take a look around. I mean, we found an inn, which is very obvious. Oh, a weapon shop. We could do with something new. Hey, what's up? This must be some kind of joke. A weapon here that isn't selling weapons? And those beastmen make me so angry. But I can't take them on alone. Now I'm getting angry again. Well, that guy doesn't seem angry at all. More customers? Sorry, I don't have anything. The Beastman confiscated all my weapons. Doesn't need to be bringing that guy down. Maybe he's just a hippie. But then why would he be working at a weapon shop? Huh. If I were younger, I'd pound these soldiers in a mush. Haha. <laughs> well, if I were younger. I just said if. Well, let's try to leave. What do you want? Go away! You don't like me, but you don't want me to leave? What the hell? You should be kicking me out! You were them? Then hurry up and get out of town! I just tried, but they blocked the way. What's with that look? You have something to say to me? Uh, listen. That's it. Yeah, don't try to fight them. They'll just bring you down to very, very low health. And you can't do much in battle anyway, because, well, it's not a battle. I'm not scared. No, you're just stupid with an ugly haircut. Welcome! Ooh, what can I buy? I can buy some round drops to restore 100 HP. One for five Luke. Luke, it's... I never even looked at what it meant. A magical rope returned to the entrance for 12... Angel Grail, bring back to consciousness for a hundred. And Pui Pui Grass heal status ailments. I think I'll buy one of these. One of these. And probably one of these. Even if I had enough for an Angel Grail, I'm not going to buy these yet. So I didn't really buy a lot of supplies, but it'll be good enough. Gah! You scared me! Please don't tell others I'm here. Can't let other beastmen see me now, please. Uh, okay. I'll just go to the end now. Even though I go up, I can't really get through here. There's nothing around the walls. Therefore, I'm just gonna go to the end and rest. They look half human, half werewolves. That could mean something. I don't have any seeds. And I'll probably have to come back to here later once I do get seeds. Hmm. Uh, is that a guy or a woman? I, I can't tell. Want to stay for the night? It's free. I can't make a profit with those beastmen around anyway. Okay. Should I wake you up in the morning or at night? Well, can't really get far in the morning, so let's try night. Good night. Enjoy your stay. Oh, wait, so this must be the Mana Holy Day. That's what it meant, so it's free. Whenever you go to an inn during the Mana Holy Day, it's free, which will really help you out. So if you want to know if it's mana, then all you have to do is just go over here to see the fairy. 
Like, when you look at time, when you see shade, that means it's night. Just use that as a reference. So if I slipped up in part one when I talked about the time of day, and wait, the actual day itself, I apologize. Oh, now I gotta fight some bound wolves. Those must be the guards. Yeah! Double hit! A victory for me! Let's see what's in this chest. Oh, a pack on chocolate. Uh, let's see, I'm press X. Restore 300 HP! Wow, that's pretty badass. Okay, and there's a beach, nothing too special. So let's move on. Time to head for Wendell. Ah, rabbis are here! Ow! Sun attack. At night, they're actually asleep, so you can take advantage of that in battle. Oh, I couldn't get my attack in. I still hear more rabbites. I did not mean to do that. But if you don't hit them with your technique, at least they'll still get to use it again, which is pretty nice. Rabbites, where are you? Probably over here. Was there a treasure chest? No, there wasn't. I would like to get to at least level 2 at this point, but I don't think it's gonna happen. You don't get a lot of experience fighting these guys, only just one. So again, this is the strategy you will want to use against enemies as Ceres. Or at least, if you care about the main characters, just hit and run. You can't really string up any combos because the attacks are quite powerful. Therefore, you can only, like, hit them once. Oh, Mykonid! There's a new enemy. Like, if you remember Secret of Mana, we've seen these enemies before. They're a completely different name. Another victory. Ah, get a round drop. Okay, is there anything over here? No. Usually when you see victory come up after killing an enemy, that means there's no more on the screen. So that's a little extra thing they added compared to Secret of Mana, where they gave you no indicator at all. Lakeshore Village Astoria. Let me try going this way first. Actually, I think I'm just gonna go to the village straight away. So I have a feeling I'll have to go through there as well. Cave of Waterfalls, Holy City, Wendell, Astoria to the south. Well, I'm heading for Wendell, so let's go! Hmm, yeah, let's go. Wait a minute. Sealed by an invisible force. So it looks like I can't go to Wendell yet. That means I'll have to go to Astoria just to take a look around. And probably do the typical talk to everybody in the village routine. Hey, hey! This is the village of Astoria. Uh, good to know. The Holy City Wendell is on the other side of the lake. There's a cave to the east which goes underneath the lake, but it's sealed off right now. Yes, I know, that's very unfortunate. Uh, do you have anything new that I can buy? No, you don't. I haven't really bought any weapons or armor because, well, I couldn't get any in Jad. So funny. And there's nothing here that was pointless. Moving on. The city of Jad was taken over by beastmen. What if they come here? And what if they don't? Then you have nothing to worry about. Oh, I already talked to you. You were just in a different spot. Um. Wake up, please. Okay, fine, don't wake up. Ben, what's your business anyway? Are you on a journey, miss? Why the long face? Your beauty is ruined by that. Now smile. If you knew why I was upset, you'd be sad too. Or maybe you just don't care. Scattered throughout the land are silver and golden goddess statues. These statues let you save your progress. The golden ones also restore- Wait, I already heard this at the castle. Back in Rolant. 
So this is not new information. Can I talk to the dog? Doesn't look like I can even reach him. There's nothing over there in that corner. Let's look around a bit more. Ooh, a weapon shop! Don't mind if I do. Yes, welcome to you as well. Okay, so if I buy a long spear, my attack will go up by five. So I'll definitely take it. Alright. Okay, so now I gotta press Y and go over to everything. How close am I to gaining a level? Looks like I need 14 more experience. Therefore, at this point, it looks like it could be... Is that Luna or something? But either way, it looks like a very bright day. With like a different spirit. It's been a while since I played Secret of Mana, so I don't remember what everyone is. Oh yeah, the Bronze Lance. Let's go to the Long Spear. I could probably sell that other spear as well. And weapons. Go to the Bronze Lance. There's only 20 that I get back. That's unfortunate. Nobody believes me, but I'm sure I saw it. A strange light coming from above the lake. Maybe we'll see it again tonight. Well, not yet. I'm going to go to bed. So that's another inn I'm going to have to rest in. Ten. Wow. Well, that's not too expensive. But if I couldn't afford it, then I would just have to fight enemies. So yeah, I'll rest. Is that that light? Yeah, it is. So that guy wasn't crazy after all. I had a feeling that was the case. But where's it heading off to? Well, it's leaving the dog alone. Here's a noise. Is she sucking on her thumb? Hmm. Huh? Is she changed in a hurry? That light! Well, time to go follow it. Oh, there it is. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, let's go after it. See ya.